What's going on, everybody? Today is Friday, May 26th. We are currently 20 weeks and one day out for my first ever bodybuilding show. Ignore the bedhead. We are currently running through our morning routine. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Let's hop in the cold plunge and talk about it. Yep, 37 degrees, nice and cold. I'm gonna catch my breath for a second, then we'll talk. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, this video is gonna be a little bit different than, I guess, past videos in the sense that I'm gonna try to film over the next three days and put it into one video. So with work picking up, uh, basically with Memorial Day weekend and just my, a lot of shifts, I figured it wouldn't really be good to do one video on one single day because the majority would be like one workout and then just I go to work the rest of the day. So I figured we'd go ahead and film on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, all which are gonna be right around 20 weeks out for my first ever bodybuilding show. So I'll get two workouts. I'll get today's workout and Sunday's workout in here. Um, as far as eating goes, we'll be eating 2,250 calories on Friday and Sunday, and then 2,650 on Saturday as like a little refeed. I have a refeed once a week currently on my coach's protocol. Um, but yeah, as far as the cold plunge, it gets harder because I feel like as I lose body fat, I have like a little less like of a thermal barrier with me. So um, this only gets harder, honestly, as I keep the temperature at around 37 degrees and drop body fat. But once again, it's one of those things, I'm not doing it to burn body fat. I'm not doing it to build more muscle. It's more so the mental side of it as far as like start the day with a mental win. Um, once again, controlling yourself under pressure. This is obviously um, pretty high stress in terms of what your body's experiencing. If you can remain calm, control your heart rate in this kind of like physical stress environment, I've noticed it's carried over the rest of my life in terms of like my mental fortitude, grittiness, and just kind of being a little bit more go with the flow rather than like super, super strict with everything. As I mentioned, I'm going to finish up this cold plunge and the rest of the video is going to be workouts, posing, full days of eating, all that kind of stuff all into one. And yeah, right around 20 weeks out. All right. A little head dunk for funsies. Never gets any easier. And here we have breakfast and also my favorite meal on prep right now. It is 250 grams of egg whites, one serving of feta cheese, uh, 350 grams of roasted potato, and an orange on the side. It comes out to be 588 calories, 81 grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, and 42 grams of protein our pre-workout meal, as well as my favorite meal. Let's dig in. Alrighty, we're now heading to the gym. We have a full upper body workout. So this is pretty much the exact workout I've shown you guys on the channel before for my upper body that I'm currently running. But I did bring down the number of sets for my chest and shoulders, just because I'll hit chest and arms again on Sunday. So that's basically like I have to do a full upper one rest day and then chest arms again. I notice a little bit of tenderness and soreness in my shoulders hangs around in my chest. So we're gonna decrease from three sets to two sets. Once again, that's kind of like an auto regulation thing. If I feel like I can maybe push a little bit more, I will, but I just wanna make sure I'm fresh to hit everything on Sunday. We're getting some gas right now and we'll head to the gym.
Alrighty, that's a wrap on today's workout. Actually turned out really good. I will say dieting is a double-edged sword because you kind of go in a little flat, a little low on energy, just don't have as much food, maybe not sleeping as well, whatever it is. And then by the end of it, you have a pump and you look really good. So it's kind of like the double-edged sword where the energy isn't quite there. You have to push a lot harder and workouts become a lot more challenging. But at the same time, like you're kind of seeing the rewards like right in front of you, like literally the mirror showing you all the hard work you're putting in. Pose is looking good. Once again, something I'm gonna be starting to do a lot more of, just kind of dial it in, become more comfortable in each pose and holding that for a significant amount of time. Because right now for me, it's like the exhale, inhale, the breathing, positioning, make sure I get all that stuff dialed in. But once again, we are 20 weeks and one day out today. So we're definitely dialing things in. And probably another 10 pounds to lose or so, but I'll go over all the stats and stuff probably on Sunday, just because I feel like I do it every Sunday. So I want to make sure that we kind of have a full week of weigh-ins, that kind of thing. But now we need to head home to that post-workout meal. We got some burgers on deck, and then I've got a meeting with a client later. Uh, I've got work. Yes, pretty much that wraps up the day as far as like the exciting stuff. Once again, I'll probably film something tomorrow morning as well as Sunday to add to this video. But yeah, without further ado, let's head home and get that post-workout meal. I hang out. What are you doing? All right, well, we are back from work, but I still have, let's see, um, so 8,000 steps, got about 4,000 steps left, so that's where you're on the treadmill down in the basement with Maisie, so we're gonna get these last 4,000 steps and then head to bed. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is a rest day, but I'll go over um, potentially, I don't know, maybe like some mobility stuff or something I do tomorrow. Um, and definitely also film Sunday's workout as well to put on this video. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna knock out the last 4,000 steps I got. Hang out with Maisie, Katie's doing some laundry over there. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Go! <laughs> Go, 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 Speed. She's speed. You done? You done? All right, so it is now Saturday morning. Last night, as you guys saw, we finished up some cardio um, at the end of the day, but then we went ahead and had a low weigh-in today of 164.4. So that is a new low. We did 165.2, then 164.4, but it's as expected considering I did stay up a little bit later, get some cardio done. I noticed whenever I get my steps in at night rather than earlier in the day, my weigh-in the next day is always a little bit lower because I basically just burn more calories at the end of the day. Um, I have good digestion, so dinner. Um, Typically, is not something that overweighs the actual cardio at the end of the day. But so big low weigh in. Now we have a refeed day today, as I mentioned before, 2,600 um, and 50 calories. So we had two bananas this morning, a uh, very basic breakfast. I pretty much eat the same thing I do normally. I'm um, just adding in little bits here and there. So like a banana is extra 100 calories, stuff like that. We're now gonna take Maisie on a walk. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. Wait, Maisie. Maisie, come here. <laughs> Maisie, you wanna go for a walk? Yes, sit. Maisie. She I can't like, help you. She likes Katie more. Can you go for a walk? Maybe. Sit. Come on, sit. Good, Good girl. girl. Stay. Hey. Yep. There we go. Put this on. Yeah. yeah, so far today, um, had the protein shake, or two bananas, cold plunge, breakfast, all kind of good stuff. I'm going to take her. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, I'm going to eat the exact same stuff. I'm going to add a banana. Um, I do need to pack lunch for work, so I'll show you guys, or pack dinner for work, so I'll show you guys what I pack there. Probably, honestly, if anything, just more rice cakes. Um, a bunch of chocolate rice cakes that we have. But I need to go to the grocery store at some point. But for now, let's just go ahead, take me on a walk. It takes me a little less busy or less things going on that I'm gonna film, but I'll film tomorrow. We're gonna do a leg workout in the morning. But yeah, for now, <laughs> new low weigh in, have a refeed today, so we'll see what the weight does tomorrow. But yeah, let's take me for a walk. All right, we just had lunch, but we're gonna be packing some meals for the rest of the day. Lunch, just like you've seen on previous four days of eating, uh, it's two four ounce 937 burgers two slices of bread, some fruit and veg on the side. Right now, I am running a little bit low on vegetables, so we're gonna go to the grocery store tomorrow. But as far as the rest of the meals, this is um, two slices of low calorie bread, as well as some buffalo chicken and a slice of pepper jack cheese in there. Going in, we're also gonna have two, um, two sodas, a Fresca and a Diet Coke. While I'm gone, obviously I'll be drinking some water too. Uh, we got this guy packed, but I just feel like having soda when I'm gone. We're gonna have a Greek yogurt as well uh, for a little more protein. And then the big thing is gonna be rice cakes. So we've got 
Um, it looks like three, my little sister left me three and a half chocolate rice cakes. So we're gonna add that um, to this bag. And then I think, let me confirm, I think it's gonna be like seven of these uh, white cheddar ones, but let me double check the exact number. Cause I was just in my fitness pal making sure. So I should get nine of these. So I think I have like 13 in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat nine of those along with my um, last meal. But all this total together is 970 calories. It is 146 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, and then 57 grams of protein. So as you guys know, today's a refeed day. Um, lots of lots of carbs, and my go-to carb on the go at least is rice cakes. They stay good, they're tasty. They have a bunch of different flavors, chocolate and white cheddar are my two favorite. So that brings my total today to 2,628 calories, 343 grams of carbs, 51 grams of fat, and then 212 grams of protein. The goal was probably a little bit closer, like three, 350 carb and 200 protein, but it's okay if we have a little bit more protein, a little less carbs. But I do have a fridge I can throw this in. If I didn't, I'd throw maybe an ice pack on top if you're traveling, driving. Uh, I have some clients that are pilots or are always um, on the go. I would definitely recommend just throwing an ice pack in there to keep that stuff cool. And this stuff obviously can stay out. So go ahead and zip that up. And it is currently, what time is it? Yeah, so 2.30, um, I probably won't be back till like 11 o'clock tonight. So this is kind of like my food for the rest of the day. Um, once again, I just ate lunch, so I probably won't be eating for another couple hours, about five or six. I'll have maybe the sandwich and some rice cakes, and I'll have the Greek yogurt and some rice cakes, stuff like that. But just wanna show you guys um, some of my favorite things on the go. Deli meats are huge, Greek yogurts are great. Um, occasionally, I will do full-on meal prep that you can throw in a microwave, but once again, not everyone has a microwave. Um, if I'm on the go, then this is just super, super easy. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and end things here. I'll see you guys tomorrow because when I come home, I'm going straight to bed. But yeah, that is um, the meals on the go for the rest of the day, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got a late workout in the morning. Peace. Alrighty, it's now Sunday morning. We're just on the go. Uh, skipped the cold plunge this morning because we needed to go train instead. I don't want to get cold plunge and like 30 minutes later try to train and warm up. So we're gonna skip the cold plunge for the day, but still doing it probably five, six days a week. Uh, we're gonna have a Rice Krispie treat, had a protein shake and a banana, and we're head to the gym. I'm gonna bring a tripod, we're going to crunch. Um, I'll see how much of an, in the mood I am to film. I honestly hate working out in the morning, but it is what it is, we got work round two. We need to go to the grocery store, pick up some food, stuff like that. So we need to get our day started. Um, also, if you guys have never had one of these, Katie's about to try it, so I'm gonna get her a review. But these Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bars, I mean, they are delicious. Let's see what this one is. What, which one's this? Oh, oh, this is the chocolate peanut butter. I think I've had like a, a peanut butter and jelly one. It's so freaking good. Uh, macros are 190 calories, eight grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of protein. And then looks like about three grams of sugar. So that's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the grocery store after. I need some deli meat for a sandwich later at work. Um, apples, bananas, we're really low on fruit and veggies. So I'm gonna probably just run in, get the basics, and I'll go actually tomorrow morning um, and get everything that I need for the week. But yeah, without further ado, let's head to the gym. We got legs. Might be hard to like eat to bite. So hopefully I don't break my tooth. <laughs> it looks good. It kind of does. It's smaller than I thought it would be too. Uh oh. Good. <laughs> mid mid. No, it's good. It's definitely a nice switch up from what I have been eating. I like bear bells more though. I, I think know, they're very different. I like, I like the crunch. Yeah, I think I bear, need that. Bear Bells is like such a different bar, mm -hmm. but it yeah, has like what chocolate, nougat, a little bit. Of, is that like peanut butter cream or something? Yeah. I like it.
All right, the leg day is done. That's a wrap. We got the leg press, leg curl, leg extension, RDLs, skip calves, because we're in a little bit of a rush. Need to get to the grocery store, make a meal, and then get to work. So I felt like I was a little bit rushed today. Honestly, just not a great workout as a whole, but sometimes it's that way. I'm still glad I got in, got it done. I don't normally train in the morning. I normally have a little bit more food in my system. So I'm gonna chalk it up to a couple of those things. Um, also staying up late for work. But once again, um, pretty much after yeah, pretty much starting in June. Um, I won't be working on the weekends anymore. It'll be pretty much just go, 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 prep, content, coaching, all that kind of stuff. So I'm saving up for some trips late in the summer, late in the year. Obviously, you guys will see. Um, stay tuned, subscribe, and you guys will see all that kind of content. But yeah, not ideal. But hey, when you run to the grocery store, grab a bunch of food. Honestly, I'll probably do a full run. I know I said I was going to go tomorrow, but I figured like tomorrow I don't want to <laughs> rush again. So I just want to get it all done in one trip. But yeah, let's head to the grocery store, pick up all of our essentials. I'll see you guys at home. Now for the real reason we all train, let's see if I can carry in three full grocery bags, like the big ass ones, not like the small plastic ones, a thing of Fresca as well as my gym bag. Let's see. I mean, this wasn't super, super difficult, but I will say I'll have to put something down to open the door. But yeah, we got it. All right, so we made it home. We got all of our groceries put away, um, basically multitasking. So as the potatoes were cooking, went ahead, put all the groceries away. Now we have, once again, my favorite breakfast of all time, my favorite meal on prep right now, potatoes, uh, 350 grams of potatoes, uh, 250 grams of egg whites, one serving of feta cheese. We have an orange on the side. We also have our creatine and post in here. Uh, once again, this is just post-workout. I always have that, so we're gonna knock that out. And then we're gonna come around here. I also packed for um, when I go to work, we're gonna have four rice cakes. These are leftover white cherry rice cakes from yesterday. We also have our fresca. We have a sandwich. This is 150 grams of deli meat. This is like a buffalo chicken. Mustard, two slices of low-calorie bread, and pepper jack cheese. We also have two Greek yogurts right there. I'll read out the macros real quick of the meals I'm taking with me because why not? So now I'm gonna get somebody asking me. So uh, the, this food I'm bringing with me to work is gonna be 673 calories. 75 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 69 grams of protein. Once again, the protein's coming from the two Greek yogurts, um, as well as the 150 grams of buffalo chicken, and these have a little bit of protein as well. Um, but then we'll come home, and I still need to have a final meal, probably like a turkey burger, some fruit, stuff like that, since we restock the fridge with lots of fruits and veggies. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we're gonna finish this. I've gotta leave in about 15 minutes, so eat this. This is on the go and then come back for um, our dinner and uh, basically our 12,000 steps. We're gonna see how many steps I get at work. My guess is I'll probably need a little bit at the end of the day, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, see you guys when we get home. How many do you have right now? 5,000. Alrighty, it is just about uh, 10.30 Sunday night. We are at 9,400 steps. We have about 3,000 left to get. I'm just gonna go over the actual kind of stats so far. Um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna do this every week. Once again, we are Currently about 20 weeks out, I guess 19 weeks and six days now. Yesterday, 20 weeks exactly. But um, I'm throwing this up on the screen as well, as always on Happy Scale, the app I use. So yeah, for the last, I mean, pretty much the last 28 days, uh, last four weeks, we're about 4.4 4 pounds down, which is good. Right at that 1.1 weekly rate after the trip to New York. Obviously, you guys see the new weights are going down. Uh, this We had a low weigh in yesterday of 164.4 before the refeed then 165.8 after the refeed, which is very typical. So we'll kind of see what happens tomorrow. My guess is the weight will probably be in the 165s. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, also in the weekly rate, the weight's actually coming down pretty quickly. We haven't really changed anything. If anything, we've added on refeeds. Um, ever since New York, we did one week of no refeeds, then a week of two refeeds, and then back to one refeed per weekend. But yeah, I mean, overall, going very, very smooth. Uh, I do think we're probably gonna have to go into the 150s, maybe mid 150s for the lowest low, um, or by the time we get to the show. Once again, I'm not too worried about the weight at that point. We're just going for a look. However, need it, however lean I need to get, um, that's how lean I'll be, even if it is um, low 150s or whatever it is at that point. So hopefully we'll have to dip that low, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, overall, so far so good. Once again, we didn't do any posing today, but we did do some posing on Friday, so that's kind of what we're looking like 20 weeks out. We'll compare that to basically week 19, week 18, stuff like that. But otherwise, next weekend, I'm going to be able to work out on Saturday, you think? Yeah, Saturday. Okay. So I'm going to do Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm going to have 
rest days on Tuesday and Friday from now on. I'm changing up my split. Okay, but yeah, I'll film next weekend too. We'll be working out, but yeah, changing the split. I used to have all my rest days on Wednesday and Saturday, but with everything that's kind of going on, I want to kind of change that up for as far as like a game content, client check and stuff like that. So I'm going to be shifting all my workouts and actually doing rest days on Tuesday and Friday from now on. But um, yeah, without further ado, I'll wrap things up here. Once again, hopefully um, this very pieced together three day video comes out all right. Uh, if that's probably what I'll do occasionally moving forward. I'm just really busy. Instead of just having one day where I try to film everything, I'll combine like two or three days around the weekend and still kind of have it be okay like 20 weeks out, 19 weeks out, 18 weeks out, so on and so forth. But yeah, still feeling good. Once again, the weight is dropping very, very quickly without having to change too much protocol. Um, we've been at the 12 to 13,000 steps as well as the 2,250 calories a day with a refeed ever since New York or a little bit before New York. So um, yeah, if anything, that was a good, nice little diet break. We'll kind of see what happens moving forward. But yeah, without further ado, on things here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time. Peace. Maisie, what do you? What are you looking at me for? Do you? Do you? Do you want to go to bed? Is it bedtime? Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. We gotta go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed.